Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, team of the year. The time is closing in. We have our official loading screen from EA Sports. They dropped it yesterday, but team of the year is tomorrow. We are so freaking close. We have one last day of this team of the year warm-up series promo. How is EA going to drain coins from this market one last day. They dropped the 85 plus times three yesterday, which I honestly, honestly thought was going to come today, but instead they did it a day early and we're still awaiting one big SBC that we imagine would be coming before team of the year actually starts. And that is the foot hero player pick, which we have not seen dropped in this game yet. But again, we are one day closer to team of the year, one day closer to the big day and the big promo starting. And uh, there's a lot to still talk about with the market because a lot of people are preparing for team of the year. So I want to talk about maybe some ways that we can still do a little bit of that or whether it's when you want to buy a team, whether it's if, if you have some fodder to, st to sell, right? I know a lot of you guys might have SBC fodder that you've stocked up on that you're looking to sell. And, um, you know, I think there's a really short time window. You're hoping for another SBC today again, but that stuff needs to get out pretty soon. So we're going to talk more market-based, content-based stuff today. I know yesterday we looked at a lot of the leaks. I'm really not going to look at leaks of players today. It's going to be more so just taking a look at um, the content on this game and on this market because technically today in FIFA... Um, or today on this game, we are going to know who the team of the year is and we, maybe we know some stats. That's what I would be very curious to see. Now, of course, the leaked team of the year has already been released. So we get our ultimate 11 is going to be tweeted out by EA Sports today, two and a half hours before the content drop. EA is going to be announcing the ultimate 11. Of course, they released this Twitter video yesterday with Mr. Beckham, who I'm sure was paid a lot of FIFA points to, um, you know, make this advertisement. But he said it's 7:30 a.m. Pacific time, so it's two and a half hours before the content drop. We are going to see the reveal, see who makes the ultimate 11. Now, last year they did a reveal like this too, but they didn't actually show us the stats on the cards. Uh, they tweeted this out last year. This was one year before the promo. Last year, they're doing it earlier this year, but I would imagine it would be something like this. They would tweet out a squad and they would show the players just kind of with their faces and the cards. I don't actually know if we'll get stats today, but if we do get stats today, that would be very, very interesting because I think that would start to give us an insight on how you know, how good this team of the year promo might look. Again, last year in FIFA 21, a lot of people were underwhelmed because the stats that they actually ended up giving these cards were just not as boosted, right? They weren't the best cards, the team of the year. So I think kind of starting to wrap around what kind of hype levels in terms of the team of the year cards and how high they're going to boost them. Uh, I think we might figure some of that out today uh, with this release if they show us the stats and maybe uh, they might just show us the leaks right there might be leaks that tell us what is coming out so either way i think we might start learning some team of the year stats today so of course with people starting to prepare for team of the year people are buying up cards for gold upgrades and for investing and stocking their club with golds now i honestly think and we talked about this earlier too as a lot of gold rares have gone up in this game but specifically some of the leagues that are uh, rumored to have the most likely um, of having a lot of team of the years in the promo team. As you see here, a lot of these prem rares are 850. I mean, to be honest, the last, what is it, three or four years during team of the year, they have not required specific league um, requirements for the SBC. So I know a lot of you guys are preparing and you're maybe buying some gold rares. I honestly think that you don't have to buy them today if you don't want to. If you want to wait, open your packs because if you're going to buy a bunch of gold rares, you're going to be unassigned, right? And when you're unassigned, you can't open packs. But if you have the 81 plus attacker packs that you're going to want to open because we imagine that the attackers are going to be released this Friday into packs and we might get some confirmation on that from EA Sports soon. Um, like I've got 81 plus attacker packs. I would love to open these. Um, you know, Friday and Saturday when we would imagine that the team of the attackers would be in packs on this game. Um, you know, you don't want to be unassigned if you're doing some of that. So I honestly think that, and, and this is looking ahead a little bit too, but you're going to be able to stock your club with gold rares on the weekend, like during the lightning rounds when they're, you know, opening, people are opening a lot of their saved up packs. It'll be a great time to get on bid and a lot of uh, great opportunities to buy these cards on bid and on snipe during that time period as well when a ton of packs are getting opened because right now there's not that many packs that are getting opened. So that's one of the tips that I would give you about 
buying some of these gold rares and stocking your club for a team of the year if you're going to do a lot of upgrade packs. Now, speaking of packs as well, will we get another 83 plus upgrade? Let's focus on today's content on Thursday. I know we just kind of jumped ahead. Now we're jumping back, but let's go back to today's content. Um, could we see another set of the 83 plus upgrades released because these guys expire today at 6 p.m. content drop? That would be kind of crazy, but I think it's potentially possible. Although yesterday we did finally get the 85 plus times three. EA finally released these SBCs after we knew they were in the code. Um, I did them on the spot with the fodder that I had put into the club originally, which saved me a decent amount of coins for sure because um, fodder went up a lot yesterday. And fodder is one thing that we're going to talk about in today's video as I do think it's going to be a good sell, kind of like you have to sell it in the next 24 hours, if I'm being completely honest, um, because once the packs start getting open for team of the year, it is almost 100% likely that we'll see some of that SBC fodder drop off. So uh, these were released yesterday. A lot of 83s, 84s, 85s are up. 85s are now like 9,500 coins. 84s are 5.5, 6K, and 83s are all over 2,000 coins. So if you had that lower tier fodder, you are loving it because they made these a little bit cheaper than what I honestly thought they were going to make them. And since they don't expire until Friday, I don't think we're going to get another rendition of them. Now, what I'm curious to see today is number one on Thursday if they re-up and re-release the 83 plus attacker upgrades midfielder and defenders because that'd be what the fourth time right that we would have gotten these that's crazy we've gotten them three times already so we'll see if they do it for a fourth time or um, if they do not release those today but I could also see them releasing some sort of like 84 plus player pick or something like that that would maybe, you know, something today that they would put out that would expire in 24 hours because EA does that all the time, right? They've done it a couple times this year where they release an SBC the day before a new promo. It's like an upgrade pack SBC. And it gets you thinking about, oh my goodness, I have to do this in the next 24 hours. And there's a huge fear of missing out, right? That's what they did with the 85 pluses. They just released them yesterday instead of today. Now, I think one thing that they might do today, one SBC that we have not seen yet is the 81 times 11. That's a, a pack that's been added to the code. Now, if that SBC comes today, that'd be a major, major coin sink along with the uh, hero, foot hero player pick. We have not seen a foot hero player pick just yeah, and a lot of people imagine, myself included, that that would be an SBC like the Baser Mid Icon player pick that EA would put out before we have the Team of the Year promo starting tomorrow. I feel like the Hero player pick would be something that would come today. I'd be I'd be pretty surprised if it didn't uh, get dropped today. But maybe EA changed their plans. Maybe they said they're not going to put out that SBC. I don't know. Uh, but you have some hero cards that are still chilling at low prices, right? Ginola is still right around a million coins, a little bit under. Cordoba last night on the video when we looked at him was 400,000 coins. He went up a little bit, slight bounce. He's like 415K, maybe 420 right now. So a slight bounce, he's 419. I do think that you're going to see these cards get low again today before the content drop because um, you're, people are going to say this is like the last chance for that player pick for heroes. And if that, if it does not drop today for whatever reason, then uh, I think heroes would go back up in price and you'd see people buy some of these cards back. But I think especially when we think about SBC fodder and one of the things that when we're thinking of team of the year preparation, if you still have some of this stuff in your clubs right now, I think today and tomorrow, the next, basically before Friday at 6 p.m. when they drop team of the year in the game, I think you have to get out of some of this SBC fodder uh, because people are going to start opening packs and that's going to bring supply on the game. I was looking back last year at FIFA 21 and what happened on the Friday of the attackers being released in packs and, and fodder was really, really high and fodder dropped off, right? 86s last year, I think were like 27,000 coins, which I know seems very crazy because right now they're like 13K, but 86 has dropped like from 27,000 coins down to like 20K on that Friday alone because of the packs that were opened. And there was a decent SBC that was released last year, but nothing super crazy. So with the spike that we saw in fodder on the lower tier yesterday, it was a great opportunity to get out. I think today after division rivals rewards, you'll have another opportunity to maybe see this fodder go up a little bit because 88s have kind of snuck down in price. To be completely honest, they've gone from about 29, 30,000 coins down to like 26, 27. Now I bet a lot of people won't be opening their packs today, but I bet a lot of people are waiting for some coins to come into their club from division rivals rewards today. Some people get 20, 30, 40,000 coins, depending on their rank and their division stuff like that. 
they're going to get some coins, maybe go out and finish either the Icon Player Pick SBC or the Akardi SBC. There's a lot of SBCs that are live right now that people might go and finish, either the 85 plus, either of those, maybe somebody's working on Kaka um, or any of the other 83 plus upgrades as well. I think you will see people on this game today go out and uh, buy some of this fodder. So I think it's gonna be a great opportunity. And of course, if the hero player pick comes, I think that this is your optimal time frame to get rid of some of this stuff because I don't think you wanna be holding on to this as we head into the weekend. That's my opinion on SBC fodder. If you have it, take the money because I'm almost guaranteeing you that you're up on it, right? 88s have gone from 20,000 coins to 27, right? You're up pretty big on this fodder. So if you have not sold yet, I would take this opportunity to go ahead and sell on a lot of that stuff. Now, talking for the rest of the market, we really didn't see a lot of panic yesterday. And I thought that we were gonna see more market panic and market drop when we saw the 85 plus SBC, but a lot of prices have really kind of stayed stagnant, right? You actually have a lot of prices that have stayed very high uh, from their initial the initial drop, right? Speak of Genduzi, right? I think people just see that this Genduzi card is such an OP meta player in the game. He continues to stay up in the high 290,000 coin. He was over 300,000 for a bid yesterday. Um, you know, today after rewards on Thursday, you might see a few people go out on the market and buy some cards. You might see a slight uptick uh, in the market as people, of course, need to go buy some teams to get some games in for uh, the division rivals or uh, for the weekly qualification time frame, I don't, th I don't think you're going to see a lot of crazy movement on the market after rewards today, but I think you will see maybe a little bit of rise on some cards in some areas, but yesterday's content really didn't drop any cards, right? There were a couple cards that just moved around a little bit yesterday on the market. Uh, like I bought some Soyun shoes for like 77,000 coins and I've been selling them at like, you know, his normal price of like 82k, which right now it looks like he's in low in the low 80s. So just kind of fluctuation trading with a couple of these cards has been pretty profitable because the SBCs that were released yesterday were on the lower tier. Uh, another one that I traded with was Inform Lewandowski. He was like 93,000 coins yesterday. I bought like three or four of these Lewandowski's at 83 to 84K and I sold them at 93,000 coins. So that's the kind of stuff that you might be able to trade with today again. But I also think that today and tomorrow on Friday, before we head into 6 p.m. UK, a lot of people are gonna be looking to make buys on out of pack special cards. So keep an eye on this market, whether you're wanting to buy a card for your team or whether you're buying, wanting to buy a card for an investment, this is also kind of the, the last call, if you will, if you're trying to invest in a card that you think is gonna go up this weekend, which of course, we could expect that depending on how the content is. So, you know, and Kunku, 550, that's decently low for him. Reese James, I bought at 100,000 coins. This Acuna is down because of the, um, because Sevilla drew yesterday, so that resets their four win streak. Uh, so just keep an eye on some of these cards. Again, after awards today, maybe a few of them have a slight uptick in price. Lucas Mora is down just a little bit, not much. Delane was 125. He's now 117. So, you know, just keep an eye on those parts of the market today, especially if there is a hero player pick. I think a hero player pick today, and if they release one more upgrade pack, that would make people try to get out and, and do that upgrade pack. And especially if a hero upgrade or a, a player pick is like, anywhere over 150,000 coins, a decent amount of people will want to go out and try it, I would assume. So I think that would cause a little bit of panic on the market where it might present an opportunity where you could go out and snag a couple cards and watch them rise or kind of get them before this whole promo happens and before we start to have the buyback on the weekend for the weekend league and into this next week. So that is one thing that I would keep a close eye out for today. I know a lot of you guys are still like, yo, Nate, when can I buy some of these cards that are still chilling, right? Again, like this Nkunku is a great example. He's usually like 570, 580, 548 is chilling right there. And honestly, I'm just gonna pick that up because that's the lowest price on Nkunku that I've seen in the past couple of days. Maybe he stays under 550, but I just feel like that's a very meta card. It's a live item. He's not super far away from getting his win streak upgrade and he's just freaking electric. So he's scoring goals left, right, and center. Um, and you know, that's a card that I think people might go out and buy after the team of the year. And after all the packs are opened this weekend, people might be going out and looking for some of that. So a couple of cards have gotten, you know, it seems like maybe a few cards, um, people have seen the loading screen and maybe panic sold a couple items as you've seen a few prices that have dipped down. Uh, like this Kulabali was just showing on footbin as 250. 
he's not actually there. I picked up a couple of Rule Breakers Holland uh, at like 415, 420, because this card is usually like, he was like 450, 460 yesterday. He's 435, so right now he was really, really low. That one did not even go on bid for 418. That's crazy. So, you know, some of these cards have gotten a little bit low tonight before rewards. Just just watch around the market because this might not be the um, a buy time for every card, but on some of these specific cards, I think there are some okay prices that you could maybe go out and find like uh, one item that I see right now that looks to be pretty low, especially if this is a real price is uh, Tiago Jalot. Let me see his item because he was like 380, 390,000 coins and it shows us 360. Like I'm going to pick that up. That's really, really cheap. And that's just sitting there like nobody's buying right now. That's a 15K undercut just sitting on Tiago Jalot. So um, I know that there might be some content coming and that's why uh, people aren't buying because of that player pick today. But, you know, at the very least, I'll be able to quick flip a few of these things, I think, after rewards, maybe into the 6 p.m. time frame today. So just watch the market today, right? A couple other things that we could be expecting content-wise. Um, again, it, if you did not catch, catch earlier this week, it was leaked that Mbappe is not winning player of the month. Instead, Savernier is. So this Savernier item um, is 114K, but it looks like I think today would be a reliable, a, a good guess to see the player of the month Savernier item released on this game today. So I'll be watching out for that. I don't know if he would be an 88 rated or if they would go below uh, and, and still give him an 87 rated card. I'm not sure what the rating on his player of the month would be today, but that is something that I think a lot of people are curious about League One player of the month as it is not going to be Mbappe. So even Mbappe's gold card, you might see Mbappe's gold card going up a bit more. Um, he's already gone up some. He's like 920K, I believe. Yeah, 920,000 coins. Ooh, 890. And that's sitting too? Okay, that's not interesting. But, um, you know, I think that some of this some of this stuff might get a, a pickup, especially this Mbappe might start to go back up in price a little bit just because he does not win Player of the Month. And some people were hoping in, that he was going to win that. So there'd be a craftable SBC that would be out uh, during Team of the Year. So... Yeah, man, I think that today there's like a last chance for some of this, a last chance for two things, a last chance to sell some cards and also a last chance to uh, maybe uh, buy some cards for teams. I think there will be a little bit of panic uh, tomorrow on Friday as we head into the actual promo itself of Team of the Year. But man, with some of these prices that have dipped off a little bit, like I, I just bought that in Kunku, um, it looks like this RTTK Fred is kind of down. I mean, just kind of take a look around the market and I don't expect to see a really big rise today after rewards again, but some of these cards that are just like 226 for Fred, that's a really, really rare item. Uh, and, you know, he's got one page to 240. I'm going to go pick up that 226 because I expect some people to go out and buy some cards today after rewards. And, I, you know, I think there's opportunities, especially even if I don't sell that Fred 224, I'm going to buy that one as well. Even if I don't sell that Fred like today on Thursday after rewards, then I'm just going to wait and hold on to that after the weekend. And, you know, um, with the with the promo that is coming, all the cards that are going to be released on Friday are going to be mad expensive. So people are going to open packs, not get the card that they want, and then go out to the market and buy some teams. So that's why I'm putting a huge emphasis on, you know, maybe some of these out-of-packs cards that could potentially still rise up later on this weekend. So one thing I also want to take a look at really quick is the brand new team of the week. Now, this team of week is going to be interesting because it's going to get supplied a lot from today until next Wednesday because you're going to have a lot of lightning rounds. You're going to have a lot of saved up packs opened for the attackers, for the team of the year cards. Now, the one thing that is good about this team of the week is it won't be in packs when the full team of the week or when the full team of the year is released. So um, that's one good thing, I would say. Because, you know, when the full team of the year is released, that's when a lot of people open their packs. There's even more lightning rounds and a lot of crazy stuff. So, you know, Ben Yedder, Bruno Fernandez, Robertson is a very cheap left back option. I mean, 67K for a rival card is pretty cheap. St. Juice Day is extremely overpriced right now. I would not buy this card. He's going to be, um, he, he's going to be like 30K. Uh, later on Friday, and he's going to be like 20k after before he goes out of pack. So just be very careful with that. I think he's going to be very, very, very supplied and very cheap. But these, this team of the week will probably be a buy ending up on. Um, I would imagine probably like Saturday or Sunday, like normal. Probably look for a buy time around then because still a guy like Ben Yedder is going to be very popular. Robertson's going to be a very popular card that could potentially rise out of packs just as a Premier League inform 
and an Andy Robertson card that is a lot cheaper than his Road to the Knockouts, a Bruno Fernandez special item with a dynamic image that is not very expensive like his uh, Team of the Group Stage card is. So I think there's value in this Team of the Week. I actually bought a Bruno today for uh, 455 I think it was a bit of a snipe slash panic sell and Bruno's back up to 485. So, you know, I think this Bruno's dropped off a little bit. That, that's kind of as we thought it would. It's kind of dropped off. Uh, also, the signature signings Ben Yetter, it dropped off a little bit. And I know I mentioned to you guys that, hey, you maybe want to sell this. So I guess you saved about 20K or so if you wanted to sell this signature signings Ben Yetter because he's about 520,000 coins at the moment, 530 right now. So he's down like 20 or 30K, but the new inform is just, um, it's not as close to this one as I thought it was going to be. I think EA, you know, I thought they were going to make him still like 86 pace on the inform. Inform only has 85. So this card is still a decent amount better than the Ben Yedder inform. So maybe this version still drops off a bit over the weekend as the inform Ben Yedder drops off in price. I would keep an eye out for that uh, because this card obviously is 250,000 coins, but probably going to still drop down some over the weekend from team of the week pack supply and from the supply that's going to happen all over the weekend so right now it's just your last day to get your packs crafted right play those squad battle games get those um you know if you're playing weekendly this weekend get those foot champs wins done i'm on my way to uh, potentially qualifying for that do any of the last second sbcs that you need to do to get packs ready i mean the 81 plus packs expire on friday pato expires um today if you want to try to get him done i also think league sbcs yeah so the league one uber eats air divisi and mls those expire watch and see if these get re-updated right away i hope ea sports refreshes these instantly today that's going to be an interesting part to look at too so it's going to be a kind of not a crazy day but it could be an interesting day of thursday content depending on what they re-release so we're going to take a look at that potential hero player pick today more market movements and probably a lot of people selling some fodder um because i just think that that's going to be a thing that you need to do in the next uh, day and a half. But then also EA releasing the actual team of the year players and seeing if we get stats is going to be a major vital part of all of that today on this game. So good luck in your final preparations for team of the year. We'll see if EA Sports has one last coin sink SBC or coin drain opportunity with fodder being so high. We'll see if they put out that hero player pick today. Maybe some sort of like 84 plus player pick or that 81 times 11 that could potentially be today as well uh it could be a decent content day so we'll just see what esports has planned for the last day of warm-up series before team of the year so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate to put account and i'll catch you guys later peace